Okay, the Achilles states that a slower runner with a head start can never be overtaken by a quicker since the slower always adds distance before the quicker can reach its last position. Brian Palmer, the second paragraph down here, summarizes it pretty well. The tortoise will always be opening up new, smaller gaps and remain just ahead of the Greek hero. I'll put some of these links down below under the show more section. Uh, the last paragraph indicates that the mathematical solution depends on an infinite set of uh, real numbers. A really short head start will serve the purpose for a small screen device. Here is Khan Academy's take on the sum of an infinite series mathematical solution. And here's where the infinite process is indicated. And here is how I applied uh, Khan's formula. It matched the measurements I used when I first set up the animation, and it worked for all frame rates used. Four frames per second, Achilles overtakes after two frames. Here is nine frames per second. I'm thinking of this as a design problem. How many frames can you uh, fit on a smartphone screen and still get the information across? At this frame rate, Achilles will overtake somewhere between the fourth and fifth intervals. In 1872, Dedekind had separated mathematical infinity from the physical world, and Current Robbins emphasized it as a procedure, not as a uh, quantity. Uh, Dr. Jeff Cruzan, in a uh, pretty good article, finds such infinite series to be an alternate approach to an otherwise difficult problem. And now we'll move up to 14 intervals per second between the 15 frames or instances. You get a little smoother motion at this rate, and some labeling. The rectangular frames are the instances. The intervals are located between them. The circle divides the unit of time. Here it's one second. Here's the tortoise speed. And here's the Achilles speed. And the head start, however small that might be. And here's the overtake point. And the finishing line, which we don't really care about. We can eliminate that. And we'll run through the animation again. Here's the overtake point located at the completion of 7 of the 14 sub-intervals, or 1 half second. And here's the math again, uh, same as before. Uh, this kind of race actually played out all the time when I was in the Merchant Marine. It was resolved as relative motion. Nobody ever used infinite series. But you can see here that this is a practical solution. Here is the infinite series solution. You get the same 24 minutes. These two ideas seem worth some thought. Corvini's approach seems similar to Corrant Robbins mentioned earlier, and Brown brings in some quantum physics ideas. Taking a closer look at unit distance per unit time, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. We go, and now we've got 14 frames per second. And once again, and with the given head start, seven equal subdivisions of each equate to the same physical location. With the given conditions of this example, Achilles will always overtake at the halfway point, no matter how many subdivisions are made. Procedurally, the number of subdivisions can be increased indefinitely. The overtake is still the halfway point under these conditions. Zeno describes the race with a generalized geometric ratio. As something like the fret spacing on an equal tempered guitar. Here the ratio continuously shortens the string length by a percentage at each repetition. There is always a remainder length by the definition of the procedure, but since the ratio itself is derived from the starting length, that original length can be considered the sum of the series. Here's a closer and slightly more accurate look at the uh, application of the ratio in the guitar. Uh, this is my take on Zeno's uh, geometric description of the race. It's not without some problems. I have the uh, time intervals decrease at the same ratio as the distance ratio. Uh, I think the uh, head start here uh, could be any distance along the length. This might be just a special case which illustrates the description pretty well. Okay, this is a fairly common image. The uh, Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy uh, article on Zeno's paradoxes is worth reading. Uh, the question marks mean um, I'll have some more reading to do myself. Uh, the principal interest here would be in the limit process in calculus, the derivative, integral, uh, the fundamental theorem, etc. Nothing I can do much with yet, if ever.